Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install 14.0.1 or the latest of one staging because with this method you will always be up to date with the latest of one stable. I mean. So it's, you can always get the latest of one stable with this method. So I'm first going to show you how to install one. Then we are going to install all the, all the one dependencies. One mono, one gecko and another package of one gecko. And then we will install a Windows package which I have already downloaded, photo. And then we're gonna open it up. And then we're gonna reboot the system that the one Windows package will appear in your menu. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. So first of all, we're gonna go we, we are going to open up the term terminal. I press control, control Alt and T together. All these commands are got from the one website and if they for some reason because I've done it, done it once change the installation method I will update the blog spot the article and then you will get the new commands but as of today when I made this video this is the all the commands you need so we just copy paste them all into a terminal as you can see now, this is the next step. Open up, I want to talk to you a bit about this next step. If you are not using Zoran, and I'm not sure about Zoran Lite or Zoran Ultimate or Education, if you see your system don't update like this, if you don't see these lines, then you have to run this command. If you do see it, or then you can skip it like we're skipping it, but if it says one stable is not found in the next step, then you just run to apt update. So you press enter to confirm. So it's gonna download and install. It's gonna download about 100, 112 megabytes now, and it's gonna use 800 megabytes of space on your hard drive. So I'm gonna fast forward this process and I will see you straight after this. It's all installed, so I will see you soon. Fantastic, so basically one is installed. So that's a great step. So the next command, in the past, a couple of years ago already, there was a nice wine configuration settings or wine which you found in your menu, you can open it up and that mostly, as far as I know, don't exist anymore. But you can get to it with this method. And I told you we're going to install three dependencies or one. This is it. One mono. And they all take a while to download and to install. And one mono and then two one gecko. So basically, yes, and you need it to run games. So, you can wait for it, and then whenever you install your first one package, it should install these three also. But sometimes it doesn't, and then one, not all Windows apps work on one in any case. Please take note of it, not all is working. But for many of them, if you don't have it installed, it will not work, and when you install this, it might just work. So it's stay and very needed. So, as you can see, it's a very simple way to install them. We click install again. So I'm gonna fast over this one and I will see straight after we have to click install again. So I will see you soon. Okay, so this is the last, this is the last package now and we just click install again. So you already know the method and I will see straight after this one. Okay, good. So we just downloaded this, this last package and now we wait for this little one configuration to pop up. So you can, if you need to change drivers or anything like that, if you are trying to install something and people could tell you to, to do some stuff, this is most probably where you can start. You can change your one version, your Windows version here. And it's quite cool and you can also see here. 14.0.1. So there's a lot of things you can do, a lot of things for different games and programs. So I'm not going to touch it because I don't need it. But if you 
You want to install something and somebody tell you to open up one configuration. Now you know how to do it, but it's very good if you install those free packages. That is the main thing. This is to, is to install Wine Mono and the two geckos. So that is what we actually try to do. Now the next thing is we can install the package. So I'm going to open up my exe executable. As you can see, I downloaded this photo. It will not be on your system by default, but if you run this app, just look for photo for Windows and then you can just right click on it, say run it, and the magic will start. So as you can see, it's not going to install like a normal Windows package. So that's amazing. And yeah, so it's gonna take a few seconds because it always takes a few seconds to install it. <laughs> and now we will just wait for it to install. As you can see, we at seventy percent, so it's gonna be done quite soon, ish. We hope, and then we will just. Just see that it works as you, as you can see. Once again, not all Windows programs work. Please take note of it. But some do. And that's fantastic. As you can see, it opened up. And you can go to Photo Editor. File. And that is just extra things of photo. So now let's open up one of the backgrounds, walk up this off. Zorin, user, share, backgrounds, and we take this one. And now we just, let's just go to facts, so classic, in the oven, this looks nice. And then we go to file, save, and say high quality, because we like it. Save it to the desktop, save. So as you can see, everything works. But, and there's a picture, but now, go to your menu and type in photo, you will find nothing. So now we're going to reboot our system. And I will see straight after the reboot. Fantastic. So now let's open up our system and see if everything works just fine. And yeah. So we are nearly in the complete run through on how to install and use one in Zoran, in Zoran 15. This is the core edition, but it should work. So you got one here. I'm not sure what's gonna. So you got one just to add there. But let's stop. Let's just start in photo. As you can see, your package is there. Now the first time I noticed it might not launch. If it doesn't work the first time, just open it up again. It does work. It might just need like the first time time to set it, to set it up become an executable. So I'm gonna go and just stop it, click on it again the first time and I tried it I thought oh no it's not working. But if you need to try it twice yeah that's part of life and as you can see it's all up here you can collage I like to use it sometimes and yeah it's very good. We had a sysadmin in my work, no, uh, a PR guy where I worked with in the past and he didn't use Adobe, he, he, he just used this for the basic editing and it's a great tool to have. Yeah, thank you for watching, see you later, goodbye.